So I'm creating this video, hopefully to help people so they don't have to spend money paying someone to do a harness. This is specifically for the ALH. This is how I do it. This isn't necessarily how you have to do it, but this is how I do it. Uh, you can see the standalone Excel file in front of me. I'll go each over each one of these pins to let you guys know, again, what I do, not necessarily what you have to do. So pins one and two, of course, are power. Four and five is ground. Six and seven are the CAN bus. Um, you don't necessarily need these. It's up to you. Um, of course, these first four you do need. The glow plug is part of the glow plug system. Throttle pedal you need. If you want to keep cruise control, you'll keep pin 14 in. Pin 16 is the K line. That's the communication to your OBD2. Relay 109, you don't necessarily need to keep it. If you decide to, that's on you. Vehicle speed sensor is used for cruise control. If you don't have cruise or don't want cruise, you don't need this wire. Check engine light is self-explanatory. Tachometer wire, again, self-explanatory. AC, you don't need. MAF sensor, I don't run it on mine. You can run it on yours, it's up to you. Uh, if you don't run it, of course, remove it. MAF sensor, you need. Brake, you do need um, for cruise control. Um, Again, if you don't want to keep it, you don't need it. Go ahead and remove it. Glow plug relay you need. Pin 34 is AC, you don't need this. This is the wake up wire for the ECU. This is what powers it on, this is an ignition wire. The alternator connector, pin number, or excuse me, number two, is for your load sensing inside the ECU. You technically don't need it, uh, I have it in mine. Wait to start glow plug light, that's just the light that lights up and tells you that your glow plug lights are warming. Uh, these three pins, of course, are cruise control. If you don't need it, remove it. Map sensor, again, same as before. You may not need it. Throttle pedal you need. Throttle pedal you need. Map you need. N75 you need. Throttle pedal you need. Brake pedal, again. Um, cruise control, you don't really need this. Uh, both of the brakes you can remove um, unless you want your cruise control. When you hit the brake pedal, uh, you want the cruise to disengage. Technically, when you, if it is a manual like mine, if you push the clutch in, uh, the engine will rev a little bit, but it'll disable cruise as well. This you do want, the clutch switch. Um, if you don't have this wired up to 12 volt ignition, what happens is, is the first time you give it pedal, um, the, the pedal will fall off. All you have to do is give it gas again. Um, this will happen every single time you start the, the swap. Mass sensor again, remove, throttle pedal, keep, keep, keep keep this is just a, uh, a shield um, you're not gonna have to necessarily worry about that it's part of the casing for um, uh, the number three injector uh, pin 88 is fused 10 amp ignition all the rest of these you do need so just leave them be um, over here is a list of everything as far as sensor wise the coolant sensor you will need. Uh, these first two wires are just for the gauge cluster inside of the factory VW. Uh, you may use it, you may not. You would have to figure out exactly what the resistance measurement is for that sensor to display accurately on the gauge uh, in your swap. Uh, needle lift is your number three injector, so you're going to need that. Crane position sensor, you're going to need that. Uh, injection pump, common sense. Map sensor, you need. N75, you need. Math, again, I don't need it. I don't run it. Um, glow plug relay. Um, you can run your glow plugs with the ECU. You can do it manually if you want to. It's completely up to you. Uh, the 109, you you can run it. You don't have to. I personally don't run it. I just have a, a, a standalone relay, and that's what I use to power on all of my sensors. Um, your OBD2 plug, again, common sense. You do need this to communicate with the ECU, and pedal you do need. Um, what I do is, is take this schematic here and kind of trace everything out. And then I would mark the things that I don't need. Again, pins one and two are power. You need those. Four and five are ground. You need those. Six and seven are the CAN bus systems. You may or may not need that depending on uh, if you have an automatic. Um, some of the control systems for the AW4, you can actually communicate with these two wires. Um, cooling system, pin 11, you don't need. Cruise control. Again, so you would follow, if you don't know how to read one of these, pin 9 on the big, uh, big connector comes across, ties into pin 2, or excuse me, spot number 2. You go down to the next page, 
spot number two comes across and goes into your glow plug trigger module. So this is how you read one of these schematics. Um, down at the bottom, I'll explain that you do need the throttle position sensor. Again, you may or may not need the 109, the MAP sensor you need. EGR, you don't. Mass airflow, the MAP sensor you don't necessarily need. The glow plug assembly you don't necessarily need. You can do it manually. Uh, the um, flap valve you don't need. Preheaters you don't need. The PCV you don't need. Uh, the brake light switch, again, you don't necessarily need that for grooves, but it's up to you. This you do need, that 12 volt ignition, uh, so that your pedal works the way it's supposed to every time. Um, cold start injector is part of the uh, injection pump, fuel cutoff valve injection pump, injection pump. Uh, you don't need this waste bypass. Uh, engine coolant sensor you need, needle lift you need, and uh, seat cram position sensor you need. So hopefully this helps you, kind of points you in the right direction. Um, I see a lot of people asking, do I need this, do I need that? This kind of covers everything. Um, all these files can be found down below. I know this is a very boring video, but hopefully this helps you. Oh, also additionally, the difference between the early and the late um, is where you find the glow plug relay. If it's under the dash inside the car, it is an earlier one. And if it is a later one, it's found under uh, where the windshield wipers are right next to the ECU. The easiest way to determine that is where the glow plugs actually tie into the system um, and how many wires you have going to the glow plug uh, as well. If you have one individual wire for each one of the glow plugs, it's later. If you have uh, two wires, two pairs, um, then it is an earlier one. If you have any questions, let me know.